Hello and welcome to a new video. Uh, I'm using the mic like this because I can't figure out how to get it to sound good from far away. So bear with me. For a reason, I think they're all good. Hopefully, and the cord. So what we're talking about today is going to be actually useful apps. Basically, when it comes to driving, there's a lot of people who just put their phone on a mount and they call it good and they put up Google Maps and they don't care. And if that's you, that's great. But here are just some useful applications I've found over the last couple of years or so uh, with my really janky Impala. And I hope you enjoy what we're going to look at. So like I said, um, what we're going to be looking at, first couple apps you're already familiar with, everyone uses them. I'm talking about Waze, Apple Maps, and then, um, well duh, Google, I don't know how I forgot that. So I just want to talk about these because there's a couple updates, uh, more so with um, Google, that you might find my like kind of frustrating and, and here's how to change it so google maps recently changed the default route to the most fuel efficient uh this can either add time or it'll be the same amount of time uh, if you want to turn this off you have to go to settings uh then press navigation settings and then finally scroll down to the most fuel efficient route uh that'll be on the screen if it isn't already um so beyond this new feature which google calls you know preferred fuel efficient routes. I get that we're trying to save the world, but I'm just trying to get where I'm going as fast as I can. And from what it looks like, the differences aren't that big, but I just wanted to make you aware that that's changed. And there's a couple ways to set it. You can also set it if you have two destinations, and then you can hit the triple dot icon thing. And then you can, we're in the same box area where you can say avoid fairy, fairies? Fares, avoid tolls and freeways, that kind of stuff. Uh, that's where that would be at. The only other thing I can mention with these apps, since everyone already knows everything about them, so Google Maps also added the same thing that Waze has had for a while, which is like, here's a police officer, here's a road hazard, that sort of thing. Um, Google isn't as good at that job as Waze is because Waze, that's what it like started at. And basically, it depends on the users and just a higher number of users to report that sort of thing. So if you want to avoid cops or slow down, <laughs> no one to slow down, then Waze is still your best bet. But I, you probably already knew that. So I just wanted to cover those. All right, so companion apps. I'm going to be talking about one specifically today that I've had. I, I like it a lot. Um, these are basically apps to make your phone into something that works like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but the funny thing about these is they've been around a lot longer, um, like for a long time, and you know, they, they've kind of been honed, they, they, the developers know what they're doing with them. Uh, my personal favorite is called Automate, while there is a free version, it's worth it to upgrade um, and get the premium. So what the app displays and does is basically endless like there's there's so many settings uh, there's more features than there's worth covering but just here's some of the highlights on the main screen you have some info cards like the weather your speed direction and a trip counter if you tap the speed icon it'll give you some more information like g-forces and so on uh, and that should be on screen now too um, there's also a map screen phone screen media screen and app page uh, you can also set it up to text people uh, that you're driving, which is super useful. Uh, it texts my bank a lot because I get those um, auto notifications about like, oh, you spent $12 at Burger King. Uh, time to tell Discover or Chase or whoever, you know. I'm, I'm driving, guys. I can't read that. Oh, okay. And then also if you get premium, it'll also tell you about traffic cameras uh, and some other small things like if you're speeding. So if, if you are comfortable doing 10 over, like some of my insane friends are, or if you only want to do five over, and then it'll have it notify you after you do that, it can do that. So it'll yell at you, which is really annoying when it gets the road wrong and it thinks the speed limit is actually uh, like 20 miles an hour slower than where you're really going. Okay, so the final thing here is making your radio new. Um, and uh, you know, 
This is through software, so your mileage may vary, but my experience so far has been really good. Uh, the app I'm going to be talking about here is called Head Unit Reloaded. Uh, it takes any head unit that's running Android and it allows you to run Android Auto. So you will need to install Android Auto on your phone, and then you'll also have to install like a USB cord uh, that connects to your phone and then the back of the head unit. Um, and you know, the way you can do that, that's up to you. If you want to, um, you know, just have a cable dangling out the front and you think that's fine, that cool, that works. Uh, I ran it through the back so it doesn't look quite so ugly because it does not, <laughs> I just don't like cables everywhere. Yeah, but beyond that, you just have to go through the setup. So it works with your speakers, you don't need Bluetooth, and that actually allows you to use other things like an Echo Auto uh, or you know a Spotify car thing or if you have any other kind of Bluetooth things, it'll work with it because it's taking the audio through the cable. Kind of like this POS that cut out just a minute ago. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, once you get it up and running, uh, I will say you, there's an option to do it wirelessly. I haven't figured that out. Um, important things to note, you know, it'll ask you, like the thing with mine is you can have it connect to your phone by default when you plug it in. My, my defaults don't like select, they don't, they don't stay. So you might have to click a button every time, but that's fine. Android Auto on your old, old car. <laughs>